Thunder. Thunder. You are old, just like me. We're just not as strong as we used to be, are we? Let's go. Whoa. You practice in Tai Chi? Hi, Officer Huang. What brings you here? Oh, Thunder needs to see his vet. Oh. You know your form. This is <laughs> so good. Can you show me the right way? Yeah, sure. Now, oh, Thunder, sit. To practice Tai Chi, huh? You need to bend your upper body and stand firm on the ground. See? No, 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 no. I'm afraid I don't have time for you today. Practice yourself, okay? Come on, Thunder. Let's go. Good boy. Uh, see you. Bye-bye. Hey, 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 stop. What do you want? Uh, I'm ill. You're ill? Can't you read? This here is an animal hospital. They can't treat you. Can I at least talk to them? Talk to them? You have an appointment? Uh... So you don't. I'm sorry. Please leave now. Hey! I said leave, okay? Fine, fine, fine. Leave now! Here, officer. It's on the second floor. Oh, okay. Thank you. Sure. Officer Huang, what brings you here? <laughs> You still remember me? Uh, of course I do. You're the one who saved Mimi and Seven. How could I forget? <laughs> it's your day off? You're not in uniform. I retired. I've been working my whole life. Now I finally have time to play chess, drink tea, <laughs> and walk my dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. You worked so hard. You deserve to rest. However, what will Thunder do now? <sighs> He's my dog. He'll stay with me. He's getting old, too, so we both retired. Hey, I get to look after him. Oh, I see. That's good news. <laughs> We've worked as a team for so long. We're inseparable yes, now. Yes, right. <laughs> Is Director Ding working today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's in the consulting room. Oh. Oh, right. Officer Kwan, after Thunder finishes checkup, could you let him stay and play with Seven for a while? I get the feeling that... He'd enjoy spending some time playing with his own kind. Yes, I agree. I agree totally. <laughs> now that he doesn't need to work, I worry he's going to get bored, mm. you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going. Go ahead. See you on the second floor. Okay, nice talking to you. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Thunder, let's go. Okay, let me see. Open your mouth. Mm, not bad. Hmm. Stay still, 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 still. Good boy. Good boy. Stay still. Thunder is in pretty good health. Everything is fine with him. He's just getting on in years. Ah. Director Ding. Thunder used to be the... the smartest dog. And the strongest dog. Now, he seems to have lost interest in life. He doesn't eat. I guess he hasn't accepted the fact that he's getting old. Well, how about we give him a massage? It can stimulate his muscles and help him relax. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll fill out the form for you. Take it to the ground floor and give it to Ethan, and that'll be everything. Oh, no. mm. Hey, Director Ding. Hmm? Before I left today, my wife asked me to buy her some medicine. Is there a pharmacy nearby? 
Oh, yes, yes. There is a pharmacy on the right side of the hospital. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Now, thank you, doctor. No problem. You. You're very well. I'll be back soon. Mm. Good boy. This won't hurt. After your treatment here today is finished, I promise you'll feel like a totally new dog, okay? Eh? You're very welcome. Something's wrong with your blood circulation. I guess I shall have to try something bolder. Hello, my dear little needle. Whoa, what are you doing to my dog? He doesn't seem to be enjoying that. Simple acupuncture. I've never tried it on a dog before. Oh, <laughs> come again? Hey, do you know what you're doing? When it comes to humans, I know many doctors can do it. Whether they're professionals or not. But when it comes to dogs, I'm the only one who's capable. <laughs> yeah. Seems you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> It's done. We're finished. Wow, God. He looks happier than before. Anything I can help you with, you can always find me. I will. Thank you, Doctor. Bye for now. Come on, boy. See you. Let's go play. <laughs> Look at Seven. He's so agile. <laughs> Just like Thunder used to be. Come on, Sir Wang. You think too highly of him. Seven can't compare to Thunder. Thunder's a hero. <laughs> Seven's in the prime of his life. And he's smart. And he's still learning. Thunder's had his day. He's old now. Oh, come on. The older the wiser. Like aging of wine. It gets better with age. <laughs> <laughs> now you're comforting. Well, we should get going. See ya. Okay, I'll see you off. Come on, Thunder. Time to go home, okay? <laughs> Looks like he doesn't want us to leave. <laughs> we'll come again. See ya. Officer Huang, I, uh, I have a bad feeling about this. Maybe you should stay here a bit longer. <laughs> I can't do that. My wife would kill me. Huh? <laughs> I'm off. Okay.
wrong, huh? Ah! What's wrong? Look for yourself. Hmm? What the? Who did this? Seven noticed it. But... Oh, I know who did it. There was this guy with a scar on his face trying to sneak in here this morning. I drove him away before he could get in. I bet that he came back when I wasn't looking. I could tell straight away that that guy was up to no good. He might even be a dog trafficker. Those shameless bastards. We need to do something. Let's go. Go? Go where? Oh, come on, girl. I know how much you love your car. We don't have many patients today. Mm. So let's get your car fixed. Mm. Sir, we'll be finished in no time at all. Oh, okay. Please Thanks. wait here. Well, Seven, you got the service here? the guy. It'll be fixed in no time. We really need to strengthen our security. Alright, this time it's just the car. Next time it could be our animals, or worse. What do you mean? Next time they might try to harm you, but don't you worry, because Seven and I would risk our lives to protect you. Don't be silly. I, I mean it, okay? We'll keep you safe, no matter what goes down. <laughs> Officer Huang, do you remember me? You are... What do you want? Well, so you have forgotten about me. Three years ago, it was you and this dog that caught me and sent me to prison. And it was you that gave me this ugly scar. Officer, you ruined my life and you don't even remember me. Thunder, sit. Sit. Young man, you should be thanking us, giving you a chance to redeem yourself. <laughs> Thank you! What do you want? They released me last month, and I heard that you've already retired. Which means that you don't have a gun. I guess it's time for us to settle the score. <laughs> Listen, young man. Trust me, you don't want to do this. You're out of jail. Do you really want to end up back in there again? <laughs> Do you have any idea what it's like in there? Today, you're going to pay for what you did to me. Freeze! Thunder! Go! Thunder! an injury here. Send an ambulance, quick. Hurry. Thunder! Hurry. Get Officer Wong. I'm not going. Doctor, save Thunder first. Save Thunder first. Officer, you injured yourself. Let's get to the hospital first. I'm all right. Thunder was trying to save me. Doctor, help Thunder first. I'm begging you. Fine. We'll go to an animal hospital first. Hurry, hurry. Hang in there. Daisy, you go in with them. Mm. I'll go see Officer Huang. Okay. Officer Huang. Here. Easy. Easy, careful. Sit down here. Sit down. Thunder will be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Come on, take a seat.
Officer Huang, the operation will take some time. How about I take you to see a doctor? Now? I'm not going anywhere until Thunder comes out. Hey, what? Why are you here? Go in and help them save Thunder. Officer, calm down. Go. Uh, listen to me. I'm not a vet and I can't help. <sighs> hey, careful. How's Thunder? Where's my dog? His liver and spleen are damaged and we couldn't stop the bleeding. He's... I'm sorry. I did this. I'm the one who got him killed. Officer Huang, you should go in and say goodbye to him. Here to say goodbye to you. Rest in peace. I will help you put, put on your uniform and hang your medals around your neck. The day will come when we reunite on the other side, and you and I will be partners again. We we're the best partners. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Huang, I have an idea. Can we hold a funeral here for Thunder? Yeah, all of us here. Let's see move together. This hospital is a true paradise for animals. And Thunder's in an even more wonderful place than this now. Today, we gathered here in deepest sorrow to say goodbye to a friend. My partner, whose name was Thunder. He was a guardian of this fair city. When he was with us, he never hesitated or retreated when there was danger. He was not afraid to put his life on the line to protect his honor and protect the honor of his colleagues. Yesterday, I was attacked. And Thunder died while trying to protect me from that criminal. 
Let's use the word he's most familiar with to bid him farewell. Salute! Why have you brought me here? Well, I stole your eyes. What is this about? I'm more... Luke! Thunder. I remember you once said, Every animal that has died in a hospital will rest in peace here in the Sunshine Garden. Thunder shall have a place here too. Seven. Thank you. Today the garden sees a new plant here. That means another soul has gone up to heaven. I can see my reflection in your eyes. I think Seven's finally accepted you. Really? Because you can only see a reflection in a dog's eyes when he accepts you as his friend. <sighs> Luke, you've changed. I've changed? You've matured and become a lot more responsible. <sighs> I've learned a lot from the dogs that I've met. Mimi, Thunder, and Seven. They're the ones who'd helped me find the direction in life. I thought a guy like you could never learn to grow up, or to learn to love, or to give. I underestimated them. But the one I should thank the most is you. Thank me for what? Didn't you say I'm cold and heartless? Thank you for creating such a wonderful place. All the animals here are able to enjoy their lives. And they've all taught me so much. This place is truly a paradise. This is a place where you can find inner peace. In this crazy world of ours. This place is just perfect. All right, all right. If the others heard about this, they would all laugh at you, Mr. Poet. I'm just getting started here. Have you heard of Hero Dog? Right. Uh, <sighs> did you catch a cold? <sighs> no, I forgot what I was going to say. Problem? 
<laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's just that I'm not used to such kindness. <laughs> Shut up. You want it or not? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <sighs> You're making so much noise here, sneezing and blowing your nose. <sighs> it's just annoying. Nobody's able to focus on their work here. You're doing this on purpose, right? I can't just ignore you. I know. Deep down, you're kind, compassionate, and considerate. You can finish early today. Remember to take that. I'm not worried about you, but you might get the dog sick. They're more important than me? <laughs> you and they are both important. Hmm? <laughs> they are both important. I still don't like the way she put it. Dizzy, like I'm um, on a boat or something. Stop imagining things. Let me pour it for you. Hmm? Mm. I must be hallucinating now. This is getting serious. Just slap me in the face quick. Am I dreaming right now? Do you want it? I'm sure Seven would like it. No, 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 no. You didn't sleep well last night? Relax. It's not because of you. We're running low on money, and I'm trying to come up with a plan. Hmm. That's a pretty good excuse. But we both know it's me. Get over yourself, Prince Charming. Look, Seven is worried about you. Hey. <sighs> Sometimes it's all right. Ended up sick. Really? Then just stay sick. Come on. What I'm trying to say is, people will be nicer to you when you get sick, right? <sighs> well, maybe you'll never recover. Hey. Hey, boy. Ugh. Daisy, does he ever brush his teeth? 80% of dogs have dental problems, which stems from their eating habits. You are in no position to lecture him when it comes to hygiene. Am I right, Seven? Daisy, do you really think Seven's accepted me? <laughs> There's still a long way to go if you want him to open up to you. Hmm, fine then. He'll open up to me one day. I'm positive of that. Have you noticed that it takes time to win a dog's trust? But once you win his heart, he'll be loyal to you forever? Hmm. Ada said the same thing to me once. Ada adored dogs. But Chuck's exactly the opposite. They were a bad match from the beginning. You really need to brush his teeth. It's your responsibility, you do it. All right. Mm. Come on, Seven. Crunchy cable. Are you still up? <sighs> Blind date again? Please. Mom, can you just leave me alone for right now? Ada just barely passed. 
I'm not ready to start a new relationship. Mom, can you give me a break? I'm a grown man and I know what to do. We wouldn't have gotten divorced if you hadn't pushed us so hard to have a baby. And now what? Ada's gone. I've lost her forever. So please just leave me alone. Fine. Say whatever you want to say. I don't care about it anymore. This is my life after all. Can you stop it, Mom? No way. No way I'm losing everything. Seven. Just wait for me. I'm gonna get you back from that jerk. You're all I have left. Come on. Seven, come in. Eat your breakfast, okay? <laughs> Seven, put your scarf on, okay? <laughs> Seven. Seven? How about we give this to Daisy as a gift, huh? Come on, take this to her. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Seven? Come here. Oh, thank you, Seven. Good boy. You knew I didn't have breakfast, so you brought me a biscuit? Give you the energy needed to start a brand new day. Luke asked you to bring this to me, right? All right. Since you've already brought it here, I'm going to eat it. Thank you, Seven. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. Ada. I've come here to see you. How are you doing? I know that... You were not happy with me when you left this world. You were not happy all those years. I neglected you and pushed you to have a baby above everything else. You know what? The reason I wanted a baby was because I was scared of you leaving me. I know that you chose to marry me because you owed me. 
I've been pushing myself to make more money, to make you happy, to give you a comfortable life. I thought that we would be happy once we had a baby of our own. Then maybe you wouldn't leave me. But it doesn't matter. Because you're already gone. Ada. I want to tell you that I fell in love with you. The moment I set my eyes on you. Back then, you and Luke were still together. I was so jealous of him. Eventually, we got married. You were so close to the dogs that, that sometimes I was jealous of him. Ada. I know that you were still worried about Seven before you passed. Here's some good news. I found Seven's dog license. I will get him back. I'll take him away from Luke. I will take good care of him. I'll set things right. By being extra good to our dog. Ada. <sighs> Ada. I'm sorry. I never told you how much I loved you. I love you. <laughs> Hey, good morning, Eva. Good morning, Johnson. <laughs> Just look at him. It's like he's won the lottery. Oh, yeah, tell me about it. What's he so happy about? Hey, Eva, why is he always following Daisy around these days? Like a puppy dog. Well, if you ask me, this dummy is hitting on Miss Iceberg, and it looks like it's working. Seriously? Then do you think these two are seeing each other? Well, I don't know, but it's highly possible. I've been watching them for a while, and my instincts tell me something's going on. The way they look at each other, it's so obvious, isn't it? <laughs> you are the expert. <laughs> <gasps> you! <laughs> <laughs> what were you whispering to each other about? How about I go tell Daisy what I just heard and see how she feels about this, hmm? Well, we... Uh, huh? Well, we... Uh, <laughs> Where's Luke? What do you want from him? Where is he? Seven. Ten. Ten around. Ten around. Hey, Luke! <laughs> It's you. What are you doing here? I'm here to take Seven home. <laughs> are you kidding me? You already gave up on him. Seven's done with you now. I've changed my mind, and I'm taking him home. I'm taking him with me right now. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. What gives you the right? You want to know? Luke, you know what this is? <laughs> Funny. Seven and I have gotten close. He won't go with you. Hey, Luke, for your information, I'm the lawful owner of Seven. I have the right to take him with me. Seven. Don't touch him! Seven, let's go. 
Stay away from him! I'm warning you, Chuck. You try that one more time and you're gonna regret it! We'll see about this. I'm gonna get that dog back from you. Just you wait. You'll be hearing from me. Here, take a look yourself. What is it? Well, court summons? Seems so. He... How could he get the law involved? I don't care. No one's taking Seven from me. But he has Seven's license. There's no way they're gonna let you keep him. But I... I don't think a judge will be so insensitive as to rule in Chuck's favor. It won't be that easy. Is a... dog license that important? How about I go get a fake one? Come on, don't be stupid. What should we do now? I need to think of a plan. You don't have time to. The trial will start in two hours. If you get there late, your chances will be even worse. What? Plaintiff, you may speak. It's clearly stated on the dog license that I'm the owner of Seven. So legally speaking, I have every right to take him back. That's all I have to say here, Your Honor. Does the defendant have anything to say? Yes, Your Honor. Go ahead. Legally speaking, he may be Seven's owner, but he abused him. He locked Seven in the house all day long. It was me who searched the streets for two days to find Seven when he went missing. When Seven refused to eat, it was me who tried everything to make him eat again. When Seven was sick, it was me who looked after him. Although I haven't looked after him for long. He and I have gotten really close. Seven has feelings too. If he could speak, he would definitely choose me. Fine. Can you make him speak? 